how this is going to work so i've taken the lenses out of my glasses but basically this is the um i don't know if i'm going to be looking in the right direction here but this is a bit like the the pi this is the uh, arduino uno um you can just got various inputs and outputs here like digital ones here analog on the side uh five volts and ground and stuff to so you can connect to a breadboard like this and they just give you simple examples in the folder when you buy a this is like an electronics kit here that and these are all the bits you get in it oh it's just got different bits in for doing um different types of uh sort of experiments and stuff and they supply all the code so you get a CD with um, all the different projects in it. In the Arduino, you can download stuff that runs. So you just run uh, Linux code just to set um, your Linux machine up. And then they've got, it's got an example of different stuff in here that you can run through, starting with the basics, um, that type of thing. And this was one I got off the web, which was the LCD screen one. And then there's one, obviously, you can learn the Thermistor one first, which is just simply... A little thermistor, which is a temperature control device here, just senses temperature. It's two different bits of metal inside the blob. And when you, and it measures about 10k across itself, 10 kilo ohms across the meter. So you then put the same resistor value in series with it. So this is going from the negative line to the positive. Um, and you're tapping off what the point would be halfway between that this resistor which is also 10k to match that so you've got a voltage across in the middle in the midpoint of the sort of voltage divider um, and then you're just taking the signal off here that will be a voltage that will register a voltage that changes depending on the temperature of the room and you, you can warm it up by just holding your finger on it and that then goes to the a particular pin which is an analog in pin sending a voltage to that and then basically you'd pull up the uh, Oh, and then of course there was a separate one just to get the LCD working, which is all the other pins here there to configure, you know, get the right voltages and everything for the LCD. And then in that particular project, it's just I've just written this as an extra one to remind me again because they didn't because it was off the web this one. It, um, it just tells you what the pins are, so I've written it down myself because I did this the other day. Um, and then you you have these pre-written programs that runs in the uh, in the Arduino what's called the development language uh, that they, they did did development environment and it's just a coding interface and it's really quite slick so you just got the code in there um, if you set up when you turn this on just with USB it just turns the uh, the Arduino one and because this is already done before you can just see it's rot. I mean, it doesn't matter that it's reading the wrong temperature. Obviously, it's not 28 degrees in here. But it was reading quite good the other day. I mean, it's probably dodgy connections now or something. But it's still got the code in there. But anyway, let's, uh, you, you just basically, let's close these down. So you pull up, you, once it's set up in their environment, you just click on the, they, they end with the dot .ino which is the Arduino and you just open it like that and because your machine's configured it's just got the code in there and so it compiles it by pressing the tick it says compiles the sketch all these they call them sketches um, all, all the coding is for the liquid crystal display it, you know you read the pins on the side of the the board here and connect the appropriate pins to what they tell you how to do it um, so in this case it's pins 12, 11, 5, which is these digital ones over here on the Arduino that go to the particular pins on, on the LCD display. Um, there's another resistor here that uh, the voltage of that determines the backlight and contrast rather um, to power the actual little board. And you get all this in this whole kit's 30 quid and it's got all sorts of little electronic gizmos and shit in there and different chips and all this sort of stuff and then basically you, once you're there it's just a really small tiny amounts of code it says it's done the compiling um, 
I had to set up the USB at first because if you do tail on on Linux, you'll see it doesn't come up with a USB zero, which you, Linux normally would, as you know. Uh, it comes up as TTY ACM zero. So you just have to make that writable in Linux, and that's basically now serial port through the USB connection, which is device TTY ACM0 in Linux. And you can configure it in the software here anyway, because you've got parallel port, and as you see it's there, it's device TTY ACM0. So once all that side of it's set up, you've got uh, just different things, and then you can look at all those libraries or go direct from the folder, which I did there, and open this thing. And then when you read it, when you say you've written your own code, or whatever project you're doing um, you just send it go to upload there and it sends it up it says uploading da -da -da -da. done uploading and that code then reads the voltage on that pin and tells you what the temperature I it was in Fahrenheit I changed I actually wrote this because I just checked that's just the temperature um, uh, what you call it a calculation for absolute temperature which the guy has written you know using logs and because minus 273 degrees to kelvin is absolute zero and all that stuff and it was in fahrenheit and i just altered the calculation here from his fahrenheit one um so, so that it printed out in degrees centigrade instead which is 24 so you, if you notice here that you just hold this now and the extra heat from my fingers see it just shifts it up and it will update every five seconds. So you can see my body heat got got it up to 33 degrees centigrade, which human body heats about 34. So it's, it's pretty accurate. And it read the same as the uh, thermometer in the hot weather the other day when it was in my in here. And the thermometer on the wall said 25 degrees, and it said the same. See so now I've let go or blow on it. I think I've got it set to update every five seconds or something. Yeah, look, delay 5,000 milliseconds. For five seconds. So it's kind of cool, isn't it? So you can then, you know, say you wanted to buy a nano just to make this smaller, you could upload that code to a nano. They're about 20, I think they're eight, it's 18 pounds each or 18 euros, which is a smaller version. You could mount it in a really small box, which is what I'm watching this guy do on my uh, on my channel this guy's a f super mega bod and he did a uh, you know he explains electronics just brilliantly but really highly tech and he builds a lot of stuff using these things he's um, he's really good so that's a bit of an insight into the Arduino and what you can do with it and of course uh, well it's just limitless and this is what they do in electronics now at college they don't do the fundamentals of electronics I don't think so much they just start get them onto digital electronics and get them building robots and all this sort of shit you know on that page that I sent you there's one here look this guy's built this robot an open source robot so that will have a nano as the microcontroller that humidity one there I've, there's one of these little things is a, is a humidity and temperature sensor which I've already done that one. There's relays and LCD crap and whatnot in here. There's a little, another board on there. There's all sorts of crap in the box and that's everything that's in it. This is the 30 quid package though, like beginner's kit. It's a fucking mess now that I've wrecked. But there's battery in there and all sorts, all this little breadboard. This is like a joystick, joystick controller. If you were doing something, that's a little motor that can turn a fan. Is all you know, so there's different bits of bobs in, in there for different projects. I built this as well. This isn't the Arduino, I built this yesterday. This is a this is a, a sine wave generator that was about I think seven quid. And I just built that as a kit, just something to do. It's relaxing actually, it's just soldering it, soldered it, and it works. It gives out a little sine wave, which is all right, it works quite well. But anyway, I'll stop waffling. And put this up on YouTube. I'll uh, see you Sunday, if not before, do they? Eh? Take it easy.